my house, I thought it was tight from the very beginning, but it really is up to, up to more energy efficiencies now. Annie Williams is one of the first people to feel the impact of the Net Zero program in South Cumminsville. She got new windows, a new furnace, air conditioner, water heater, and more insulation to drive down her energy costs. And dozens of her neighbors are going to be part of this program too. They got caught in, in, in a bad situation. Sister Barbara Bush has watched South Cumminsville suffer through the subprime mortgage crisis. Some of the people who were trying to fix up their homes instead lost them when the bubble burst. And everybody was telling them that it was a good thing and they could, they could, you know, fix their house, get out of debt, you know, all kinds of things that really didn't turn out to be true. Vacant lots sit now where there used to be homes because those foreclosed houses sat empty and fell apart. That's where the net zero urban village concept comes in. We see this as a way of replacing the housing stock we lost during the foreclosure crisis. 25 existing homes will be made more energy efficient and 25 vacant lots will become new, highly energy efficient homes. The goal is a net energy cost of zero. It's a unique way to bounce back from the housing crisis. When they first tore the houses down or when uh, the foreclosure came into our neighborhood, and hit us very, very hard. I think we was mourning then. We, we was upset, we, we cried and we mourned. But sometime that has to end and a new era has to begin. And it will begin on these vacant lots where new green homes will soon grow. That is where I see the era begins. It is a green project, but it's focused on the economic rather than the environmental benefits of going green. By making energy bills more affordable, homes are more affordable. Working in neighborhoods wants to pull people out of poverty by adding value to their biggest investment, their home. People like Annie Williams are already feeling the impact. I can tell a difference basically in the comfort of my home, and I'm sure I'm gonna see a difference in, in the, my finances of what, the, what I owe these people do, what, I, what they charge. This is a project that will cover a few square blocks. Working in Neighborhoods thinks it could be the only concentrated project like this in the region. And they hope South Cumminsville will become a model, not just for Cincinnati, but for the country. Andrew Setters, WLWT News 5.